Hi everyone and welcome back to the Winfield Public Library Summer Reading Programs. Today we are going to be making a day and night painting. So we're going to be focusing on color, blending, and how to really get the most out of your composition. Now you can decide you want to split your canvas in half, half day, half night, and you can really play with the colors. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing in my example. Remember art is expressing yourself not expressing just copying what somebody else is doing. So if you want to start off by doing one that looks exactly like mine and then you try it again in your own way, that would also be wonderful. So for our day and night painting, you can go ahead and you can trace your circles. We're going to start by drawing what our sun slash moon is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take some things that are circles and I'm going to place them in the middle. Now it's okay if you want to go off to the side, it doesn't have to be exactly centered. That's up to you. Remember, you are the artist. This is an idea. If you have your own ideas, take some of these things and make them your own. So there's my first circle. I'm going to do another circle. Oh, that's the same size. I'm going to do the outer ring of this circle. You can also tie a piece of string to your pencil and do that little trick. Or if you've seen some of my other videos, you can put your finger in the center, put your pencil down, and move your paper only like your hand is the protractor. But that's up to you. And I am going to take a ruler and I'm going to draw a line down the middle. I'm going to do this fairly lightly. And if you want to do more rings of your circle, you can. Or if you want to do other shapes, you can. But I'm relatively happy with that. I'm going to add a little bit of details to my circles. I'm kind of thinking of it like a Zen tangle, so maybe I'll do. And remember, if you don't like something, just go ahead and erase it. Always do your initial drawing in pencil. Remember, there's no right and wrong when it comes to art. Just express yourself and have fun while you're doing it. So decide which side is your night, what side is which side is your day. This will be my night, this will be my day. So on my day side, I'm going to outline my drawing in black, and on my day side, I'm going to leave it white. Now I'm doing this in marker. You could do this in paint. I find that I have more control over my marker, but that's up to you. Remember, I'm just thinking this as a zentangle, so I'm trying to just relax, go with the flow, and I know that when I'm done, it will look purposeful. Even if I know one of these marks like isn't a straight line or isn't perfect, it's not gonna bother me because when I'm done, the whole thing will have purpose. And honestly, the purpose could just be that I was relaxing as I was doing it, that I was enjoying myself, that I was just creating. Or maybe this just turns out to be a draft, and that's okay. Not every piece of art has to be a final, perfect version that you want to hang on your fridge. So when you're done with that side, you can either leave the other side white, or maybe I'll even do it with a yellow. That could be interesting. Because I do want something that'll like hold on I'm going to do this in a yellow. Actually, if I'm doing this in yellow, maybe this side should be my day. The other side should be my night. So there we go. We got my two sides done. Now remember, you could do any kind of design that you want. And now I'm going to go ahead with my paints. So 
I'm gonna have this side be my night, I'm switching it, and this side be my day. So with my night, I'm gonna start with my dark colors and go lighter. With my day, I'm gonna start with the opposite. So go ahead, grab yourself a brush. And we're just gonna be doing these lines of colors and we can go over our marker. We don't have to be worried about where our colors are going. So that's the one really nice part about this. Remember, the more, if you're using a watercolor, the more water you have on your brush, the more transparent it'll be. The less water, the darker it'll be. So remember, black goes a long way, so I don't need to use that much black to get my point across. So I'm gonna switch over to some blues and some purples. And I'm just gonna let the colors kind of play and blend with each other. From my blue, I'm going to my purple, and I can grab another shade of purple. And I can move that purple up, higher up if I want. I can grab another shade of blue and bring it into that purple. Just really experiment. Now, I would be careful, you need to start doing your edges as you go. You don't wanna leave that for the end because then it'll look funny. You could even put, you know what, let's do it. I got some tape right here. If you have this blue painter's tape, that would be an excellent thing to just put right down your line and then you don't have to worry so much. Now, if you don't have this, you'll just have to be a little bit more careful and that's okay. I believe that you can be careful with your paint. There we go. I can just go boom right to the line. Excellent. And we're going to keep on transitioning my colors down. Reintroduce that purple again. You don't have to do like stripes. I see that a lot on some of these paintings of night and day. They can just be a little bit more free. Transitioning into some orange. I think I want to end with the orange yellow. Bring some of that black down a little bit more. I want it to seem a little bit darker on my night side. Once you're happy with that, then you can go ahead and lift up your tape. Don't leave your tape on for too long when you're done. And we're gonna go to the other side and I can just use that same piece of tape right here on the next side. Now, if you're doing it when it's wet, it may not wanna stick as well. It'll, it'll do the job. Or you can get a fresh piece of tape. And now we're going to do the opposite. I'm going to start with my yellows and my oranges. I'm going to go down. Remember, you can always take a lid and you can mix colors on your lid. So if you wanted to get your two yellows together, go ahead and make up extra colors right there on your lid. I'm going all the way to the edge of my page.
And I'm not going to really use black on this side. I'm just going to have blue be at the bottom transitioning. I can add a little bit of white if I wanted to to brighten it up a little bit. And there you go. When you're done, when you think you like your colors, remember to lift off that tape. And there you go. We have our beautiful sunset, sunrise, kind of zen tangle going on. So you could add more detail to this flower. You could go back still and you could take marker, add more. You could take your crayons, add more detail. That's up to you. And maybe, or you go on top of it with paint, let it dry and do another coat, maybe an acrylic. You, you need to know as an artist when to stop. I like how it is right now. So I think I'm going to stop now. So I hope you had fun making your night and day painting with a Zen Tangle twist on it. I really enjoyed and relaxed and I think it turned out beautiful. I love how my colors blended together and how they kind of echo each other across the page. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Winfield Public Library so you get notified every time they post a new summer reading program. And remember, if you took, a, if you liked it, take a picture of it, post it on Facebook, and tag the Winfield Public Library and Cho Studio, me. I love seeing when my friends make art on their own from these videos. It's so exciting for me. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, friends. <coughs>